can I just check you're not the news of the world or anything, or anything like that? <laughs> um, my name's Bob Davis. I'm a Labour councillor. I'm the shadow portfolio holder for housing. Um, because of PERDA's coming, I don't know if you know what PERDA is, but as sort of councillors, we've got to keep our mouth shut. So to get out of any trouble, I'm going to speak, speak of my personal opinion uh, of what I intend to do in the future. Hopefully, we get into administration next May. Um, I'd like to explain a bit of background and how close I am to feeling of what all these problems are about. My parents came from London in the early 50s. They lived in rooms in London, they didn't own anything, didn't have any housing and such, just rented rooms. And they grabbed the opportunity, like lots of other people, to come to Harlow, had a job for six weeks, then got housed straight away. When they came here, they thought that they would have that house for life, a tenancy for life, and I still believe that's what they should, should have, or people should have. They put money, they put effort into that house, um, they were involved with the community, um, and all these things may change if the Tories get their way. What I'll do is I'll go through some of the issues that, that Mitt raised. We work quite closely together. I don't think we've had an argument yet, but there's still time for that, I suppose. <laughs> um, on the flexible or fixed-term tenancies, well, I think they're absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I've watched my parents, I've watched other people decorate their houses, put money into their house, keep the house, the house and the gardens outside everywhere in good order and been involved with the community. If you had a fixed term contract, are you going to do that? Are you going to wallpaper the house? Are you going to paint it? Are you actually going to get involved with the local community? What's the, what's the sense in five years time or if they if five years to talk about the moment, it could be two years or it could be a year, like in private ref, ref, um, contracts. So people are not really going to get involved, and I think that's a really bad thing for the community. So I'm obviously against that. The, the finance, the thought of someone coming round your house every five years to determine what your finances are, well, the bureaucracy involved is ridiculous. But if, you, if you're earning more money, and you only might be earning that for a month, and you'll get the sack because of the current job situation, if you put money into that house, why should you have to move? It just seems absolutely ridiculous. The Tories on the council will say, oh, you've got a trade union leaders on £80,000 a year, why should we have a council leader? Well, it's nothing to do with it. I mean, it's, when, I, when I sort of finish, I, I, I'll explain what I think that's about. Um, but I, I don't see it as actually a logical thing to do. And people won't put any money into their houses if they know they're going to lose their tenancy. Um, in regard to the homelessness and discharge of duty, well, I think it's ludicrous that the council can say to someone, oh, if you don't take that um, accommodation <coughs> in, in a private uh, let, then we're not going to do anything and away you go. I mean, people aspire to get in council houses. If they're wrong with council houses, I think there should be a lot more of them. What's the problem with the council house? Um, and so I just think that that's ridiculous. There are other ways of working and get things better. Um, succession. Well, I obviously believe in secure tenancies. Um, there are some changes, and I think we need to have some chat talks about that. But to think about your partner, or your wife, or what, you know, whatever relationship it is, should have a right to housing. If the house is too big, after a change in circumstances, you should work with people to look at alternatives. You shouldn't say to them, right now you've got to go. It's just ludicrous. On the waiting list, I think we need to examine our policies. I mean, obviously, I always believe in a local connection. Uh, but I think we need to look and discuss with people what we want. In reference to what Mick was saying about the allocations policy, there's a move to actually do away with bands three and four. Well, I think that's just, just ridiculous as well, because people need to register they want housing. They may not have a chance at this current time, but there may be a change of circumstances where we may be able to get money to build houses, but I'll, I'll go on to that further. Um, currently, this council at least hasn't got any money for building. Um, we've had to take on the debt, and some people will argue what debt, but that's probably another argument. Uh, but basically, working out on the, the business plan that I'm aware of, although that's going to need to change as well. The Tories are saying that they're not going to attempt to build any houses for 10 years. Now, what I believe in is we should look at what they're 
put down in their business plan and, and try and link that so we can build houses, build houses because the only way you're going to create houses is to build them. The only way you're going to create jobs is to build houses and everything links together. So I think, you know, their view of, oh, we're not going to do it, is, is just ridiculous. But again, I keep saying ridiculous, I sound like Sue Destroy here, I sound I'm passionate about everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, don't look like that. No, no. Um, we need to look at how we can force this government, or if we get another Labour, ga Labour government back, and to be honest, the last Labour government lost the chance, actually, of, of going into building housing, and I think they... They may regret that now, but I certainly think that's a wrong move. But saying that, I'm a Labour Party councillor, and I think that we pressurise whatever government we've got to give us more money for housing. The thing that we've got locally is what I call the Three Hills Estate, which is sort of mm -hmm. behind me, I believe, where the, the regeneration have identified that oh, we need to sort of knock these houses down and build new houses. The trouble is, nothing's very clear on that. There's no, there are ongoing questions about the design of the house, the number of the houses, who the landlord is. Is it going to be the council? Oh, it's very much out there at the moment, but that still to be done. And then, if the landlord is an RS7, what's the, what's the rent going to be? Is it going to be the new 8% of market rates? So there will be people of different rent levels within the town. Um, and so those questions that we've been asking We've been asking those questions, so we haven't, we haven't got the answers on that. And as I, I had a word with someone tonight, and they have talked about a, a, a family there that were getting really fed up about when they're going to move and what they're going to get, and are they going to get like for like, or have they got to come down from three to two or two to one, or things like that. And they're obviously worried and getting fed up with it. In order to influence housing policy in Harlow, we have what we call service improvement teams. Unfortunately, most of them are on those teams are, are Tories. And they're the, we need more people to get on those teams and upset those people and change the balance and bring forward policies that suit the residents as well, and not what the Tories want. Um, that's why I asked you, what's close that's in the news of the world tomorrow. Um, the main problem, I mean, I ain't got to talk long, the main problem as far as I'm concerned is that we're using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. They bring out these policies just to people can't get the houses or they get rid of people. What they're not identifying is new money to build houses. And I think we'd probably all agree that. So we need to get money from government to build houses, create jobs, and bring up homes to decent home standards. So on most things we agree. Um, the only problem that we may have is working within law and what we've got. But my, my ideal is that we should have more council housing and we should look at people's needs rather than the Tories' needs. Thank you. Right, I will uh, throw it open now for a bit of maybe questions, any of the speakers, or, or actually more, more constructive, a bit of debate and suggestion how we can move forward, not just. We, can't, we know we're not going to solve all these problems, <coughs> we're going to try and do it to see how we can put, crank up the pressure on some of these problems. Yes, sir. Yeah.